Hello everyone, welcome to 3dDesignAcademy.com. In this lesson, we will continue with part 17 of constructing the car project. Okay, so um, last time we built some surfaces over here on the fender. Uh, I think we're gonna continue on with that. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to make some fillet um, or surfaces that connect the body side to the wheel flat. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna extend the surface down. So I'm gonna say extend, make sure the merge is on. And I'm just gonna extend it down till here, just so that I can see the progression of the gap between the wheel flat and uh, this body side surface. Now you'll notice that there's a li uh, little, so basically we're going, going from thick, thin to thick. So I'm probably have uh, going to have to pull the surface out a little bit. So I'm just going to turn the CVs on, grab all these CVs right here, and I'll just use the move CV, transform CV, and just move them out a little bit. Like this. Now this is just a minor move, so, so I think I can just uh, use some move CV, and I don't think it's going to change the shape of the body site that much. I think the highlight should still be okay. So I'm just gonna pull that out just a little bit so then now I see a nice progression. Okay, so let's check the highlights. From the side view, it's still flowing very well. Now there's a little bit of kink, um, but let's see if I can fix that. So I'm just going to pull this, I'm gonna to have to pull this back out then. Let's see if that fixed it. Yeah, I think that looks pretty okay. Now there's still a little bit of a problem right here, but I think uh, once we add some fillets, I think this is minor enough that I don't really need to worry about it. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. So next thing I'm gonna do, now of course it would be better if I just move this whole body side out, but um, because this is so minor, um, I'm gonna just let it go and see what result that gets us. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a fillet. Uh, well, not exactly a fillet, uh, but a surface that connects it from the body side to the wheel flat. Okay, so in order to do that, I'm just gonna, uh, well, no, I'm just going to duplicate, uh, duplicate this edge right here. No, actually, let's create a degree two curve. So I'm gonna use a fit curve, and I'm just gonna fit it to this wheel flat. And I'm going to say degree two. Just want to make it as simple as possible. Uh, snap it somewhere here. And I'm also going to move the pivot. Uh, where is the pivot? Okay, so the pivot is right here. I'm going to move the pivot somewhere around the center of the wheel. Now it doesn't have to be exact because we're just trying to project a curve onto the surface. So I'm just going to delete the construction history because it's got a history in it so i'm just going to scale it up like that now in order to do this i'm going to take a look at the picture so let's find some image okay so you'll notice that, that we have a, a transition uh transition surface between the body side and the wheel flat and you'll see that this uh, highlight going down like this so I'm going to create a curving surface probably somewhere around here. So I think our current location is pretty good, but I think maybe I'll scale it back down just a little bit. So maybe somewhere like that. And let's try it out. Oops. Something like that, okay. So now I'm going to use project onto the surface. And let's see how that looks. So I'm just gonna say trim, freeform blend, and I'm gonna say edge one is going to be curvature, edge two is gonna be position. And connect it like that. I'm gonna change it both to connect ends, and I'm gonna say modify range. Now, because it's connecting all the way to here, I'm just gonna move this arrow right here like that. And I'm just gonna, I'm just going to check how that looks. I think the highlight looks pretty good. It's a little abrupt here, but at least the progression uh, of the shape seems to be bang on. So I'm pretty happy with that. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is right now, because we are at connect ends, uh, even though it's very close, you'll see, actually, it's really close, but you'll see that it's actually not really matching up to this side line right here. So I'm going to try to match that. Because because it is connect ends, um, you know, it's just going to be straight uh, from where I have it. So there are two things you can do. You can either try to match it and do an align, or you can also create a curve. So one option would be to just match it like that, and I can use align G2 and just align it back here. And you can just change this to edge and you'll have a nice curvature. And you'll also have a, a surface that actually flows nicely from here to here uh, instead of having a break. Another thing you can do is you can create a curve like this. And I'm just going to create a curve here. Make sure it's OK. So it looks like it's matching right here. And I can use a line and just snap it to here. G2. Now, because I used the align on the curve, it's going to be right on there. And I can use one and two by rail. So one, two, and three. So it looks like I need to rebuild on. And I'm going to use, I'm going to make sure to set rail two as curvature. And I'm going to use explicit control. And let's see. So rail. So generation degree, we can just leave it at three. The rail degree, however, we need to increase. And it looks like we were able to achieve the same curvature with just degree five. So I'm happy with that. OK, so I think that looks pretty good. And let's see. And just in case, I'm going to save. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, uh, let's see, what do we need to do? Okay, so I think I'm going to create some surface between here and here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab freeform blend position. And right now the crown value is a set of two. I think, uh, yeah, I, I guess I can just use that. So connect ends right now, and I'm just going to make sure that it's default, default. And I'm going to flip it over to the other side. Now it's um, set at 0.2. I don't know if that's too much volume, so I might decrease it just a hair. Maybe something like that. We'll have to see. Now there might be too much volume here too, so we're gonna have to adjust it between, um, make an adjustment between the two. Now, one, uh, one thing that I do notice is that there is a little bit of CV, uh, CV structure problem. So you'll see that it's a leaning towards one side. So I'm gonna fix that. However, before I do that, I wanna make sure that how long this needs to be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to connect. So you'll see that on the picture, you'll see that there is a little bit of downward slope right here, but you don't see that in the orthographic drawing. It just has a straight line that goes all the way across, which is a problem. However, if you see from the top view, it actually has the feature. So we're gonna use the top view in order to create that feature. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a curve from here to, because we have a break here, I'm just gonna connect it to there. I'm gonna say Dury2, give it a little bit of crown like that. And I'm going to check it from the top view. Okay, so we have a little crown, but you'll see that it's a little bit off. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the stretch tool to make sure that it matches a little bit better. Okay, so I think that looks better. And in order to match that, I'm going to use the extend like that you know, to match it on the top view as well. Okay, so I'm just going to connect it there. And I think that looks good. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line up, uh, line up the CVs a little bit better. So I'm going to use square. So I'm going to say one, two, three, and four. Now I do need to adjust the degree because, well, I, you don't really have to, but I like to keep the degrees as the same. So right now, 
let's do a rebuild and see which side. Okay, so because right now we have to match this uh, side four, I'm just gonna rebuild side two, but I'm right now the position fails. So I'm gonna see if I can increase the degree and that matches up perfectly. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So I'll delete the original surface. And I'm just going to use this surface in order to, okay, and I'm just going to extend it all the way through. And I'm just going to project like this. And we have our nice feature right here. Okay, so I think this is pretty close to original. And if you see on the curve, uh, not the curve, but if you compare to the uh, I guess uh, the orthographic drawing, I think it matches better than the curve itself. So I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so now let's also do this area. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the, this surface to this surface. But right now the surface is a little bit long. Um, so what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to set up a target which I have to extend this. Okay, so that's good. I'm gonna turn merge on and I'm going to actually extend the surface back like that. Okay. And next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut the surface and connect, uh, connect the two. So let's see. Okay, so I'm just going to use insert carbon surface and I'm just going to drag it somewhere, uh, maybe somewhere around here. It doesn't have to be super exact. It just, you know, we just need a little bit of distance. So I'm gonna cut it right there and I'm gonna use four from land, I'm gonna G2 from one side and position for the other side. I'm just gonna do a connect between the two surfaces I'm going to change this to edge align and I'm also going to change this to edge align. Now, because right now it's the surfaces are lined up perfectly from here to here, when you uh, do a uh, uh, free from blend, it also lines up uh, really well. So I'm happy with that and let's check the highlights. So one good thing is I didn't expect this, but you'll see that these two surfaces are actually very close. And now there's a little bit of peak right here, but you'll see that the highlights are lined up very well. So even if I do a very small plant, it's gonna line up very well and it's gonna create a nice transition surface between the two. So I'm really happy with that. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is we have to, now it's done over here and it's done over here. So let's just connect the two right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna hide these curves for now. And just gonna connect between these two. Change that to degree two. Give it a little bit of volume like this. Let's see. Okay, and I'm gonna do a project. I'm gonna trim. And I'm gonna do a by rail. So one, two, and, oh, whoops, not a by rail, I need to do a square. Okay, so one, two, three, and four. Okay, so uh, looks like we need to change the degree a little bit. So I'm gonna change this to three because right now we got degree three and degree three over here. Oh, actually, yes, it should be. Yes, yes it is. And I'm gonna just go back and increase the degree here until I can get rid of failure, position failure right here. Now it says position failed right here, but I don't, understand why it's failing because it is just a free from blend they should match it right away um, unless that there's a little difference between these two surfaces right now I don't see 
any problem. So let's check the distance between the two surfaces. So I'm just gonna go to curve to curve. You know, pick this one and I'm gonna pick the other one. Oh, looks like there is a little distance. Um, that's weird. So I think, well, because the gap, if you see right here, you'll see a gap of 0 0.0128. Now the gap is really small, so you don't really need to worry about it because we're gonna put a fillet here anyways. But if you want to fix it, I'm gonna guess that this is because I extended the surface. So what I can do is I can just delete the construction history on these two. Actually, before we do that, let's make sure that we set this as a curvature. Maybe that's why. Oh, okay. So it's because I did a rebuild. What rebuild does, it, it actually moves the CVs a little bit. So I think what happened is if you if I turn the CV structure on for these two surfaces, let's turn the canvas off. So you can see it better. And I'm just gonna hide this for a second. Okay, so if you see, you see the CV structure between the two right now, it's matching perfectly. But if I do a rebuild on number two, uh, I, guess, I guess you can, you guys can really see it. But if you see right here, there's a little bit of shift in the CV structure. So I think that that's the reason why it's causing this uh, phenomenon. Okay, so right now the CV structure is uh, sloping up a little bit. So I'm gonna try to see if I can do a rebuild with one, but that's not doing anything. Three, nope, that's actually making worse. So I'll just leave it at that. Uh, it's not perfect, but I think for our purposes, I think it's good enough. Okay, so that's good. Um, so I, I don't think we need to do any rebuild here. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. And you will see that this highlight shape is actually following the image quite well. So if you see this image right now, let's see if I can do uh, move this up. And so you'll see that it's actually flowing very nicely and they are very similar in shape. Okay, so okay, so I think this is a pretty good spot uh, to end this part. Okay, so that's it for part 17 and we will continue building the wheel flat in the next tutorial. And thank you guys for watching.